Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. On this Easter day, I'd like to begin by recalling the story of that first Easter, as told to us by Matthew. It was dawn as Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to visit Jesus too. Matthew records that there was a great earthquake, and an angel of the Lord came and rolled back the stone over the entrance to the tomb and sat on it. The angel told them not to be afraid and, showing them the empty tomb, said that the crucified Jesus had been raised and that they were to go and tell his disciples that they would see him in Galilee. As the women went, suddenly they met Jesus, fell down and worshipped. Jesus told them to tell his brothers to go to Galilee, where they would see him. Matthew's account of the first moments after Jesus' resurrection is easily the most dramatic in the four Gospels. But what's important to notice is that the angel rolls back the stone not to let the resurrected Christ out, for he had already risen. No, it was to let the women in, to show them that something remarkable, something entirely new had taken place. A new world order had begun, and a new work was beginning. In raising Jesus, God was doing something utterly new. Consider Jesus' body. God didn't simply resuscitate a dead corpse back to life. But he raised Jesus to a new resurrection body in a totally new and different order. Yet at the same time, Jesus' body was Jesus, recognisably Jesus. That first Easter was the first day of the new creation. God was making all things new. Those of us who believe and are baptised already share in that new creation. Even as Jesus' first followers were shown the empty tomb, shared his risen life and commissioned to go to Galilee and then to the whole world. So we too share in the power of the living Jesus in us and his presence with us. We too are commissioned to live out the life of the kingdom of God the new creation in the way we live, to roll back the stone of ignorance and unbelief to let others in, to show them the living Jesus, so that they too may come to share in the risen life of Jesus and the joy of the kingdom of God. In our presently dark and troubled world, the resurrection of Jesus guarantees his presence with each of us and brings peace, joy and hope and the promise of eternal life which begins now and continues beyond death. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! A very happy Easter to you all.